Differentiating your product is the key to selling successful private label products on Amazon. A huge mistake beginners often make is finding an existing product that sells well on Amazon and thinking that they can be just as successful by selling the exact same product. In this video, I'll show you three ways that you can differentiate by improving a product, which is one of the best methods to differentiate. But first, my name is Crescent, and if this is our first time meeting, welcome to my channel. My passion is sharing tips and strategies on how you can create a successful Amazon FBA private label business. So if you enjoy videos like this, or especially if you've been around my channel, consider subscribing. All right, let's get started. All right, so one thing I wanna point out before getting started here is that you don't need to be an engineer or an inventor. I get a lot of people telling me that they don't know how to approach making improvements because they don't have the skill set or design and engineering background to do so. Well, by the end of this video, you'll see that you don't need any special skills to make changes and improvements to products. You just need to identify the changes you want to make and be able to communicate them to your supplier, and I'll show you how. Now, improving the product is just one effective method that you can use to differentiate. There's several different ways that you can differentiate your product to add value, like bundling or listing optimization, which have separate videos on them, which I'll leave links to in the video description below, or you can click on one of them here. Okay, so one way you can improve the product is by adding a variation, such as a new size or color. The key here though, is that you don't go off and offer some random size or color, simply because you don't see any other sellers offering it. What I suggest you do is read through the reviews of the top listings and see if there's any complaints or suggestions from the buyers where you can identify a gap in the current selection of products from the competitors. It's important that this missing element is common across the entire niche, not just a single item or two. For example, if you're looking at camping hammocks, and you notice that people are complaining that the hammocks are too small or too large across the entire niche, then you can fill that need by offering a smaller or larger sized version. Similarly, you can do the same thing with colors. Again, don't just pick a random color to offer. You need to find evidence that people are looking to buy specific color options that aren't currently available. Now, a pro tip here is because I'm a very detailed person, I can often foresee potential problem areas and a big one when you're making changes is how you communicate them to your supplier, especially when you're not face to face. Now I'll get to how you can do this when you're changing sizes or features, for example, later on the video. But if you're adding or changing colors or materials, the best way is to send your supplier an actual sample of the color or material. So there's no chance that there's any misunderstanding of what you're looking to do. For example, if you want to use a specific cloth or leather, or some type of pattern or material that has a textile feel of some kind, send in a sample to your supplier so they can physically see and touch it in order to match it. For colors, don't send screenshots or photos. Color calibration between computer monitors can drastically affect and throw off the color shades. What I suggest you do is actually use the Pantone colors. These are standardized colors so your supplier can precisely match the color that you want. I've seen too many instances where the production unit wasn't even close to what was expected, like a red turned out to be a shade of orange, and this almost always boils down to miscommunication. Now, another way you can improve a product is by adding a feature. And again, you don't need to be an inventor or invent anything or have any special skills. And like before, you can easily discover some ideas by simply looking at the reviews. A great method is to actually buy the top seller's products and play with them yourself and see if you can discover anything that you can improve upon. A lot of times, after using it or misusing it, you can see exactly what the other buyers are saying in the reviews and sometimes discover your own shortcomings, like, oh, I wish it did this, or if I added this, it would work better. We've all had that experience before, just from our day-to-day -day activities. And you don't have to create some super high-tech version of the product either. You just wanna tweak it a little bit to add value that the buyers are looking for. You can also mix features from different products. For example, if one product has some feature that everyone raves about, but another seller's product has the more popular size and material, you can mix the two together. And again, you can buy them both and send them to your supplier so they can see exactly what those features are that you want. Now, when you're making changes to the product, such as the size or adding a feature of some sort, it's important that your supplier understands exactly what you want. A good way to communicate this is to provide actual drawings of the changes. 
But again, you don't need to have any special skills to do this. One easy and free method is to use an online tool like diagrameditor.com. Now, diagrameditor.com is a free online tool that allows you to draw diagrams, but I'm gonna use this to edit a photo so I can show my supplier the kind of changes and dimensions that I want to a specific product. So for example, if we're looking at a can opener and I wanna make a change to this, what I would do is click on the photos and use an existing photo. So this one will do. Let's take a screenshot of this can opener here. And we'll go back to free online diagram editor and we'll open the screenshot and just drag and drop it into diagram editor. What I'll do now is just resize it real quick so it fits on the screen. And what I can do is I can come down here and click on advanced. And if I scroll down, I have these dimensional options here. So let's just say I want to change the handle length. I can come over here, drop this here, and I'll just go like this. And I can change this to say 50 centimeters. That's kind of big. <laughs> let's do 15, that's still kind of big. Let's do 10 centimeters. All right, now I'm using centimeters because uh, overseas in China, they're on the metric system. So it's more convenient if you just do the conversion yourself um, instead of using imperial or SAE measurements. Now, if you again, if you want to change other aspects of it, you can. For example, if I want the head of it to be wider, I can set this dimension like this. And I can make up a number and let's say I want to make it uh, 25.5 or 0.6 centimeters. Okay, and then um, maybe I want to change the size of this hole. I can do the same thing. So I'll take this and I can put it over here. And I only want this hole to be one centimeter. Okay, simple enough. And I can save this and send it to my supplier and that way they know exactly the dimensions and the changes that I want to make. And third, which is one of my favorite methods to improve a product, is fixing a known issue. Why I like this method best is because when you find these niches that pass all of the product research criteria, people are buying this product despite the poor reviews and knowing that there are problems with it. And what I've discovered, for the most part, a lot of these problems can often be fixed very easily. For example, You'll read in the reviews that people are complaining that the product arrived damaged or has missing parts, has bad instructions, or didn't work and had to get a replacement unit. For example, if we take a look at this can opener, we can click on the reviews and see if there's any potential problems. So if we take a look at these here, that's a five star, here's a three star. The box was so beat up when it took it out of the envelope. The handle has weird flex straight out of the box and is made of cheap plastic, all right? This is a, such a simple fix. You can just package this better so the box can't get damaged during shipping. And if we scroll down, this one says, good at first, poorly cuts through cans after use. So this goes to show that perhaps the can opener works great, but the cutter itself just needs to be improved with better quality. You can talk to your supplier about that. And no real issues after a month, it starts slipping and not cutting. Again, same issue there with the quality control. Order this replacement old can opener. It cuts exactly the same as the 10 year old can opener. <laughs> Disappointed. Okay, so same thing. Looks like it's a quality control issue, right? These are such simple fixes. You can just talk to your supplier and have them update the blade or the material that's doing the cutting for the can opener. And like I said, people are already buying these existing products knowing that there's problems with it and they can see how low the reviews are. So if you can fix these problems, the sales volume is already there and you will kill the competition. In these cases, buy a few of the products and see for yourself what these problems are and how they can be resolved, and again, communicate them to your supplier. And lastly, and this is very important, always get an inspection done when your supplier has completed the manufacturing, especially if you've made changes or modifications. You wanna make 100% sure that the changes are done correctly and the production units are exactly how you expect them to be. I have a video on how to do inspections here. Okay, I hope this helps you out and shows you that it isn't difficult to differentiate by improving the existing products on the market. You just need to identify the changes you want to make and clearly communicate them to your supplier. 
If you have any questions, post them in the comment section below. I answer every single one of them. All right, thanks for watching. If you found value in this video, you know what to do. Hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. And to make sure you never miss a video, click that bell icon to turn on notifications. There's also a link in the video description below to our community forums, which you should totally join. And if you're looking for more tips and strategy videos, click or tap over here. And as always, thanks for watching.